All right, we're coming on the end of the first bobbin I have ever spun right here. And I took it off the spinning wheel and I tied it around this safety pin here and then I attached the safety pin to it. And here's why. When I bought the spinning wheel, it came with these two bobbins already spun and I can't find the end on this one. This one I can, this one I cannot. So it's a tangled mess. Don't know what to do about that. I decided I wanted to keep this from tangling. And if you don't do something to the end of the yarn, it starts unspinning itself, which is why you see that fluffy end there. So now I'm going to show you how I start a bobbin. And just keep in mind, none of this is the official way to do stuff. This is just how I'm figuring it out as I go. First thing I do is I put the bobbin on and for my wheel, one side is smaller than the other. I put big side out and I just slide it on there like that and then loop it up over this thing. Then I put the tensioner over the bobbin and just hook it there. Well, I say just, there we go. Then I have this length of very poorly spun yarn that I already made on a drop spindle. It was the first thing I ever spun. It's very inconsistent, but this bobbin doesn't have a leader or anything to tie into, so I'm doing that. Then I wrap it around itself so it overlaps. I will be spinning in a clockwise direction, so I went clockwise with the thread. Then I string it through these hooks take this pin to fish it through. Just a quick shot of where that comes through. And then the end is threaded through the mother of all. Then I tighten the tensioner just a little bit. Then I'm going to take this piece of wool and make it talk to that by spinning them together.